Hey everybody, it's Teresa. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to make a bracelet today and I'm going to use some of these tiny little sparkly crystals that I got in my order from Global Land. I'll put a link in the corner of this video and in the description box below to the video I did where I opened my order from Global Land and went over everything that came. I have a coupon code. It's Teresa10 and I'll put it on the screen here and in the description box below along with a link to the Global Land homepage. The coupon will save you 10% off your order if you make an order with them. So I've already made this one bracelet and I'm going to make one like it with different colors. And this is probably a pretty weird color combination, but <laughs> I wanted to make sure that the crystals would show up against the seed beads I'm using. These are 80 seed beads and the color I used in this bracelet is the Eidos are turquoise Ceylon, and then the little crystals are like orange. So that's kind of a weird color combination, I guess. But <laughs> like I said, I wanted it to show up. Uh, this I made this to be a wrap bracelet uh, to wrap around the arm three times. It should wrap around the a standard size uh, seven or seven and a half inch arm three times like that. It's a really, really easy, I need to get in the frame here, don't I? It's a really, really easy herringbone stitch. It just embellished with these tiny little crystals. So I'm going to make another one today, like this one, except I'm going to be using these uh, Miyuki, and these are Miyuki, the uh, Eidos are Miyuki too. And in the, this I'm going to use, of course you don't have to use Miyuki, you can use Toho, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm using Miyuki White Ceylon Eidos today and these little green crystals that I got from Global Land. I've got a, a toggle clasp, a couple of wire guards, and a couple of 4mm jump rings. I'm going to be using my 8 pound fire line and crystal. Uh, I've got a size 11 beading needle. I'll be using my pliers to flatten the thread so I can get it through the needle and to put my clasp on at the end and then my scissors and my thread burner to cut and burn down my fire line. I think that's everything. I'll put links to everything I can find links for in the description box below. Of course I'll have a link to these little crystals that I got from Global Land and I'll try to find links to the other things I'm using. So hold on I get some of this away some of this out of the way and I'll be back. Okay I've got some of my beads out here now and I've got my needle threaded. A piece of thread there got my needle threaded and I'm just I've got a stop bead on and I'm just leaving enough of a tail to hold on to because I'm going to put my wire guardian on right away and whenever I sew around the beads as many times as I'm going to my thread will be locked in and I won't need to worry about sewing this tail in so I'm just leaving enough to hold on to <clears throat> this is a really really easy project if you've ever wanted to try bead weaving and you just haven't this would be a good project to start with because it's just really really easy. So I'm pick up four of my Eidos. Bring them all down to my stop bead. And I'll go up the first two. And that puts two of my Eidos next to the two of my Eidos. So I'm going to go around all those again. Down these two. Up these two. And back down these two. Now I'm going to put my wire guardian on. I'm going to push my stop bead out of the way here. I'm going to pick up one 8 and my wire guardian. down the other channel of my wire guardian and back into my 8-0. <clears throat> I'll hold my fingers over the wire guardian so the thread will land in the channel. And now I'm going to go down the other column next to the one I'm coming out of. I'm going to go around all that again. I'm going to go back up this column. Back 
and tomato. Back around the wire guardian. Back into my Edo. Hold my finger over the wire guardian. Go down the other channel, or yeah, the other channel, the other column. <laughs> Not the other channel, the other column. And I'm going to go back up, back around all that again. So I'm going to go up these two. Back into the single 8 Back up the wire guardian. Back down this channel of the wire guardian. Into the 8 under the wire guardian. Hold my finger over the wire guardian and then go back down this other channel or other <laughs> column. I don't know why I keep calling that a channel. So that gets my wire guardian on. Now I'm going to pick up two eightos. I'm going to go down both of these 8 O's. And come back up these 3 8 O's. Now I'm going to start adding in my crystals. So I'm going to pick up 2 more 8 O's. I'm going to go down two of the 8 O's in this column, from the top of this column into this column, and now two. Now I'm going to pick up one of my crystals, and I'm going to go up these three 8 O's on this side. And you just have to, usually you have to fiddle with this and make sure you're little crystal lands in between those 8 O's there like that. Now I'll pick up two more 8 O's. I'm going to go down from this column. I'm going to go down two of the 8 O's in this column. Sometimes you have to fiddle with these and make sure they land with the holes standing up. I'm going to pick up my crystal came loose there. I'm going to pick up another crystal. And I'm going to go up three 8 O's on this side. And make my little crystal fall over here in the center. Like that. I'm going to pick up two more 8 O's. I'll go down, go from the, this column down two beads in this column. Make sure my 8 O's land with the holes facing up. Pick up a crystal. Go on this side and go up three. So you're always going down two and up three. Push my little 8 over there so that it lands in between my beads and on top of my bracelet. Pick up two more 8 O's. Go from the top of this column down into this column and go into two of the beads. Make my beads land the way they're supposed to. I'll pick up a crystal, go to this column and go up three.
push my little crystal over there. Sometimes I can push it over with my finger. Sometimes I have to fiddle with it with my needle. Now I'm going to just, this is all there is to it. I'm going to pick up two more 8-0s. Go from this column down into this column and go down two. Pick up a crystal. Go to this column and go up three. My crystal landed in there easily that time. Sometimes it does. So I'll, I'll do one more, but it's just so simple. Pick up two more 8-0s. Go from this column down into this column and go down two. Pick up a crystal. Go over here and go up three on this side. Make my little crystal land in the center there. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to do this the whole entire time. Of course, you don't have to make a wrap bracelet I'm, like I'm doing. You can just make a regular length bracelet if you want to. And maybe make a bunch of them and stack them. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and make a wrap bracelet like I did with that other one. And when I get to the end, I'll come back and uh, show you how I'm going to end it off. So I'll be back. Okay, I've got this big long length of bracelet made now uh, long enough for a three wrap so now I'm gonna put my other wire guardian on here so I'm coming out of this 8-0 here where I put on my last crystal I'm gonna pick up one 8-0 and my wire guardian And of course I want this end to look like the other end, so I want my crystals to go all the way up to the end. So I'm going to put on, I'm going to go down the other channel of my wire guardian and back into my 8-0 and hold my fingers over the 8-0 so the thread will land in the channel. Now I'm going to go down two of my 8-0s in this column. Make sure not to get caught around my wire guardian. Now I'm going to pick up one of my crystals and I'm going to go across here uh, go up the same bead that is right across from the bead I'm coming out which would be this time I'm just going up two of my eight on this side. Make my crystal in there in the middle like it's supposed to. Now I'm going to go back into my single 8-0. Back around my wire guardian again. Now this time I'm just going to go down one 8-0. And then pick up another crystal. And then I'm going to go up here and go up this one 8 0 and back into the 8 0 under my wire guardian. Make my little crystal go over there like he's supposed to. Now I'm going to go around the wire guardian again. Back down the other channel. Back into the 8 0. And then down this other column. And then I'm just going to go down through here and end off my thread. And I don't usually tie half inch knots in this kind of a piece. Uh, I usually just go here to the back. I sew my thread in like I do with peyote. I'll just... Uh, I'm coming out of that 8 there. I'm just going to go over here to the 8 right next to it and go up a couple of beads or three, however many my thread or needle wants to go through. And then 
go across here to the bead right next to that and go down several. I'm going to go down, looks like five this time. And then I'm going to go over here and go up a few. And I'm just going to keep doing that and uh, crisscross my thread over it each other several times to lock it in. And then cut it off rather than tying any half inch knots. So I'm going to finish doing that and then I'll go ahead and put my clasp on. Y'all don't need to see me do that. You've seen me do that a bunch of times. And when I get back, we'll see what I've got. So I'll be back. Okay, there are my two wrap bracelets made with some of the little tiny crystals that I got from Global Land and some 80 seed beads. I'll get this one up here closer so you can see it better. I'll turn it over here where the crystals show. Uh, like I said, you don't have to make a big long wrap bracelet like this. You could just make some single bracelets and maybe stack them. Uh, it is a really, really easy stitch to do. If, Like I said, if you've been wanting to try bead weaving and you just never have, this would be a really good beginner project. Uh, I've had people ask me before if you could wear these as a necklace, and of course you can. I made both of these. They're about 23 inches long, I think. Something like that. Maybe a little more. I usually make bracelets to be about 7.5 inches. Of course, 7.5 times 3 would be 22.5. And, and then I usually add just a little bit extra because when, when you wrap it over itself like this, it takes up a little bit of the length. Uh, of course, it's long enough to wear as a necklace. I'm not sure how well it would hang, though, because it's a flat piece and it would probably hang like that so you probably wouldn't get to see the crystals on the front so i'm not really sure how pretty a necklace it would make but of course you can do that if you want um like i said i'll put a link in the description box below to the global land home page and that coupon will save you 10 percent off your order if you make an order with them i hope you all have enjoyed this video as always Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate those of you who have subscribed to my channel and watched my videos and liked and commented on my videos. I have a website where I sell my jewelry. It's Teresa's Handmade Jewelry, and I'll put a link to it in the description box below in case you're interested, along with a link to my Facebook, Instagram, and my email. If you haven't, I'd really love it if you'd subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. So until next time, I hope y'all have a great day. Take care.